This is Fox 9 Good Day. Uh, is there anything better than a relaxing day at the pool or the beach with a nice book and maybe an ice cold drink? Oh, that sounds dreamy. This morning we're diving into the world of nonfiction and getting a few recommendations perfect for the summer months. Paul Cram is here with us. He's the founder of Men Who Read Book Club and they're celebrating four years here in the Twin Cities. But I've interviewed you before you have. for a movie you were starring in with Woody Harrelson. I, yes, yes, that was so, in 2017. Yeah, it was. So yeah. welcome back. And Thank now we're talking books. Thank you for having me back, Alex and Shane. It's a pleasure to be here to talk about books. I have a disclaimer. Okay. okay. Two, a safety disclaimer. <laughs> if you choose to read these books at a pool or at a playground, make sure there's a lifeguard or an adult because <laughs> these books will like suck your attention in. Right. That's yeah. actually a great disclaimer. A good point. Yeah, really good <laughs> point. Yeah. All right, so give us a little backstory of the book club and how it got started. Yeah, in 2019, right before pre-pandemic, I started a book club. Uh, it was specifically uh, for gay guys, but we've expanded now because there's a lot of interest for a men's book club. Sure. It is really easy to find a woman's book club. Yeah. Yes. Yes, it is really hard to find a men's book club. So I started one. Well, that's interesting because that was my first thought is when we've, re we've talked about book clubs here, they've generally been very female centric, but mm -hmm. that was your reasoning behind it. And you have five different nonfiction books. Do you, do you read both? Do you read nonfiction and we, fiction or do you like I love both, nonfiction? but we only, my book club, we specifically only read nonfiction books and we, we meet the second Saturday of the month. Uh, we vote on which books we're going to read and Fun. it's mm -hmm. all nonfiction. So we run a gamut. Nonfiction is really broad, but only nonfiction. Okay. Uh, looks like right out of the gate here. Uh, this is Lab Girl. This is your first book for great Reasons. This is my first suggestion. Yeah, Lab Girl by Hope Jaron. She actually has is a Minnesota connection. She went to the U of M. Nice. Uh, she dives into her childhood. This is a really good book for you if you enjoy the great outdoors. And I, I have you ever met a Minnesotan that doesn't? No, <laughs> right. It's, it's kind of required. <laughs> it's kind of required. Yeah. She also introduces a couple of really eccentric. Her lab partner of like 30 years is super eccentric. So I highly recommend it if you like the great outdoors and want to learn about like forests and trees. And there's so many facts in it that I was like, what? Trees talk to each other. So she oh. dives into all that kind of stuff. Oh. Okay. Yeah. 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 I my son accidentally broke a branch the other day and I, in my mind, I'm like that tree screamed and all the trees around it are now sad. <laughs> <laughs> I really, I really. I, Seriously, had that. Did yeah. you tell that to Because I've heard that they, like, when you cut a plant, like, there's a scream that they scream I, to each other. She didn't say that in the book, but <laughs> <laughs> maybe this is true. I swear we get a story <laughs> once that was like, they true. have a pain, like, there's some pain. There's, oh, there's I communication that happens. She definitely digs into that. Oh, okay. Yeah. yeah. Um, do you mind if I just kind of keep driving yeah, through Yeah, sure. What's the next yeah. one? The next one. Anybody that is a Star Trek fan is going to love this book. Okay. Uh, this is by an Italian theoretical physicist, and he dives into quantum physics, which I think is a it's a topic that like hurts my head. Yeah, mm -hmm. immediately I'm like, yeah. oh, not for me, too too difficult. But how does he make no, this? He okay. makes it super approachable, super easy. He references Star Trek over and over. So if you're a Trekkie, anyone out there, this would be perfect for that. Uh, true crime. Yeah. Any fans out classic. there? This is a classic. I highly recommend this for anybody that loves, I call this like the great grandfather of like the true crime podcasts that are such a big deal right now. Sure. Mm -hmm. Definitely. True crime, uh, Truman Capote in cold blood. It's blood. It, this one's I was going to say like maybe not right before bed. <laughs> yeah, that's true. <laughs> right? I'm just suggesting. <laughs> <laughs> not right before. Well, unless, I don't know. It's something well, for I know. me, <laughs> I wouldn't read it before bed because right. I don't like scary things. I, yeah, I'm, I'm kind of with you. Uh, if you're, if you're, if you're looking for right before bed, I, this one might be the one, or if you're looking to possibly accessorize. Uh, that's that's true. Right there. Yeah, thank you. Okay, what's uh, this here one? Here we go. The Immortal Life of Henrietta Lacks. 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 The Immortal Life of Henrietta Lacks. Yeah, the author, Rebecca Skloot, she actually, it took her like 10 years to write this book. She did a ton of research. I want to like say who this book is for. This is for everybody. Like this book has everything. I guarantee if you read this book, I've not met one person that has read this book and is not still talking There's about it. There is a film out there, right? Is, Oprah is did a book. Can you tell me a, book, a, a, little a, story, a little bit about her? I don't, I don't know anything about her. Yeah, Henrietta Lacks actually, uh, she's, it's, it's a really involved story, but it's, it's uh, the cells. They actually took cells from her and every like science research project now they're called HeLa cells yeah and it's around the world so because of her uh, mm -hmm. we are able to do a r way more interesting things studying cells than ever before so like she's an amazing person but it dives into like the history the science the ethics of sure. taking someone's mm -hmm. cells and then 
you know, not compensating for them and things like that. So it's, it's a really interesting dive and it dives. I said it's for everyone. Is this something she agreed to? Or did no. She, oh, she doesn't know that she was. No, she didn't. And I hope I didn't give away some. <laughs> well, <laughs> yeah, yeah. She I'm still interested to hear more about yeah, that. Have either even seen the movie? I have seen the movie. Is it yes. is it great? Uh, yeah, but I mean, this I'm sure delves a lot deeper than the movie. But the movie was very right. good. Yeah, an hour and thirty or like eight hours of reading. Yeah, so, yeah exactly. You're gonna get a lot more information. Exactly. Okay. I have another question for you both. Yes. Okay. How many pairs of sneakers do you own? Um, I think Shane, you probably have me out. I uh, probably uh, win because that's pretty much what I, I wear every day: sneakers. But I don't own like you know, nothing crazy. I own four. Okay. Like that's oh, the. Yeah. I'm probably around. Yeah. Uh, so if you are a sneakers lover, I definitely recommend Shoe Dog by, by Phil Knight. I also would recommend this for people that are like business people. Like mm. anybody that's in, in the business world, this would be a fantastic read. It dives into the history of Nike, like back in the 70s yeah. and the 80s. This was really before like there had been like a lot of research done into like, how do we make shoes better? Like he literally, they were like tying like fish skin on people's feet and like studying it. So it's like, this mm. was a long time ago. Wow. And you mentioned, there's a movie? Yes. Yeah, is. I just started watching mm -hmm. Air. I think it's on Prime, maybe Prime, Amazon, yeah, Prime. So yeah, it's got a lot of big stars. I just started watching it. I love the nostalgia of it anyway. Yeah. And mm -hmm. even though I'm not like a huge, I mean, I, I like basketball, but it's not, I wouldn't call myself like a huge fan. <laughs> I still got, I was still finding it really fascinating. The idea that like Converse and Adidas were like top dogs and Nike was trying to find some way to, some way to the like way they wiggle got in. There. They talk a lot about the Olympics and like when an Olympian wore their shoes, like what a how what a cash cow that would be for mm -hmm. the marketing of it. So it dives into all of those like business marketing, kind of Air pre celebrity yeah. mm -hmm. endorsement kind of an idea too. Like they were, just, it was it's a fascinating time in the seventies and eighties with marketing too. So I highly recommend that if you're a business person that wants to learn more about that, and if you love sneakers, and if you love. Shoes. Yeah. Shoes, shoes, shoes in general. Shoes in general. Yeah. Yeah. We all like shoes. Shoes <laughs> are good. That's very true. Well, uh, we love the idea of having a men's book club because yeah. there just probably aren't enough of them. Yeah, good for you, Paul. Yeah, thank you so much. And people can find the book club online at meetup.com forward slash men dash who dash read. Or on Instagram too, by the way, men who read club. Yep. Exactly. Nice to find them. We'll also post this segment on our Facebook page a little later in case you missed one of those books or didn't get it written down. You can find that just in a few hours. Thank you. Good suggestion. Oh, yeah. A Fox that Good Day is coming right back. Stay with us.